uh, my topic for presentation today is suction in ventilated by babies, both invasive and non-invasive ventilation. Why do uh, why we are suctioning to remove or uh, and uh, tracheobronchial and upper airway secretion by applying negative pressure to maintain airway potency and reduce the risk of aspiration. There are many way, uh, ways of suctioning. Uh, we uh, suction endotracheal tube, nasopharynx, and oropharynx. Uh, endotracheal or tracheostomy tube suction is performed to maintain potency of artificial airway, improve gas exchange, decrease airway resistance, reduce infection risk by removing secretion from trachea and uh, mainstream bronchi. And suctioning also may be performed to obtain sample of tracheal secretion for uh, laboratory analysis whenever we are suspecting there is a VAP. Indication for suctioning include uh, we don't do, uh, do routine suctioning. Suctioning is to be done uh, whenever we uh, find the signs like auscultation of adventitious lung sounds like ronchi or uh, coarse crackles over the trachea, mainstream bronchi or both, gradual or sudden decrease in oxygen saturation, increase in requirement of uh, peak in, uh, airway pressures when the uh, patient is receiving mechanical ventilation and identification of sawtooth waveform pattern on the ventilator. Increased respiratory rate, uh, frequent coughing or both, secretion in artificial airway. Then, uh, if we are seeing in ET tube, there is a uh, secretions and uh, sudden onset of respiratory distress when uh, airway potency is questioned. Suspected aspiration of gastric or airway uh, upper airway secretions. There are different methods of suctioning. Uh, this, uh, most of the time we are doing open suction technique in which after disconnection of the ET or tracheostomy tube from any ventilator circuit or oxygen source, a sterile single-use catheter is in introduced into the open end of the tube. But uh, uh, Close suction technique is inline suctioning when uh, where we uh, doesn't disconnect ventilator. Uh, this is multi-use suction catheter inside a sterile plastic sleeve inserted through a special uh, diaphragm attached to the end of ET or a tracheostomy tube. Uh, this is uh, uh, this one is the uh, single use. This is multi-use. This is closed end uh, suction catheter. Uh, closed and suction catheter is better because it uh, give benefit, uh, allow the maintenance of oxygenation and ventilation support because we doesn't uh, need to disconnect the ventilator. And there is uh, also a decreased risk of aerosolization of tracheal secretion during suction induced cuffing. Uh, these are the indication of closed uh, system technique, cardiopulmonary instability during suctioning with the open suction technique, ha very high PEEP. Uh, high FiO2 or both in patients who have grossly bloody uh, pulmonary secretions in whom airborne transmission of disease such as active pulmonary tuberculosis is suspected. Uh, uh, some, uh, in some uh, places, only one person is doing suctioning, but it increases uh, chances of infection as well as it in, uh, if two persons are doing, uh, the main recommendation is to uh, do two per person suctioning or four-handed care. Uh, it is found to be associated with decrease in stress and defense behavior and an increase in self-regulatory behavior. Uh, the study was uh, done uh, in 2013. They are also recommending a 400 uh, suctioning method. Size of suction catheter has to be decided on the basis of uh, uh, ET tube. Uh, we can uh, uh, do in uh, like in three number ET tube, we can use five or six number uh, suction catheter or Probe diameter must not exceed 50% of ET tube diameter. Suction pressure has to be capped between 60 to 100 millimeter of mercury. In neonate, it is most of the time it is 60 to 80 and in children, it is 80 to 100. And time taken for suctioning should not be more than 15 seconds. Pre-oxygenation, there is a myth. Uh, we have to pre-oxygenate with 100% oxygen, but we have to oxygenate uh, with FiO2 maybe increase 10 to 20 percent of our baseline for approximately two minutes, not 100 percent. Depth of suction catheter insertion, safe suction uh, depth should be limited to length of ET tube including adapter uh, or it could be a more um, 0.5 centimeter beyond the ET tip, not more than that. Otherwise, it will cause, uh, cause mucosal injury and irritation. Normal saline installation in some places, uh, routine normal saline uh, installation is there, but it should not be done routinely because 
uh, it may dislodge the secretion and increase VAP. It to be done only if thick secretions and secretion plugs that would be impossible to remove without such a procedure. Hazard of uh, normal saline installation is it increases cardiac arrhythmias, hypoxemia, atelectasis, bronchospasm, infection, mucosal and respiratory tract cilia trauma. And it also increases uh, ICP. It dislodges thousands of bacteria and a saline jet may increase the risk of distributing these bacteria to the lung, thus increasing the incidence of VAP. Humidification is also important. Uh, the upper air respiratory passage perform an important function of heating the ambient air to body temperature and humidifying it to prevent injury to low respiratory tract. Most of this function is performed in nasal septum and conquer, but this is impaired in NIV and ventilated uh, babies because it is bypassed by ET tube or a tracheostomy tube. Uh, heated humidification decreases nasal resistance and its deleterious effect on tidal volume, it increases patient comfort and adhesion on NIV. Suction on NIV, suction done to keep nostril open, which need regular installation of nasal saline drops as, as when required, and precaution during suction not to suction towards nasal septum. It pre, uh, to prevent uh, septal injury, deep suction not recommended to prevent nasal mucosal injury. As per NRP guideline, nasal suction to be done uh, till 2 centimeters, and in uh, mouths, oral suction, it is 5 centimeters. Complication of ET tube suctions are hypoxemia, atelectasis, bradycardia, tachycardia, increased ET tube CO2 and blood pressure fluctuation is also there and it also decreases tidal volumes. And uh, airway mucosal trauma, ET tube dislodgement, sometimes uh, uh, vigorous suction causes ET tube dislodgement. Pneumothorax, pneumomediastinum, bacteremia, pneumonia, Fluctuation of intracranial pressure and cerebral blood flow velocity. Complication of oropharyngeal uh, and nasopharyngeal suction causes hypoxia and bradycardia most of the time. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Parian. You managed to keep all of us awake. You have a nice voice and perfect timekeeping as well. Thank you, sir. So well done. And uh, one of the complications is infection as well from bacteremia. Because don't forget that uh, when you suction, you're hurting the mucosal lining. Already we have colonized bacteria. Yes. So that's one of the reasons why even in a non-invasive ventilated baby, you may get sepsis from the bacteremia provoked. And uh, it's normal saline. She projected a slide with different complications. It's not more because of the sudden airway obstruction that may happen. I mean, it can happen with your surfactant as well. So when you're installing something and there is an acute blockage of the airway, it can cause raised ICP, can cause arrhythmia from the acute hypoxia. So if you're not taking care, so these complications are less likely, but obviously the dislodgement of bacteria taking them down into the airway and the effect on uh, impairing the surfactant function are important as well. So I think uh, we will uh, have the questions at the end of Dr. Palnivel.